The family have always said that if Dad had a bed down here, he'd stay the night. He's a star. Youth Cup, Munich, European Cup, Wales. Started off, went round on a tour, just looking around, at, saw the trophies, saw the kits. It was quite interesting to see, because obviously you see the history behind the club. Then we met Jimmy, Jimmy Jr. Um, Jimmy Murphy's son and he kind of talks us through all the things Jimmy did and how he got to where he did. My father was born in uh, South Wales in a mining village, a very, very small mining village and he learned his career in the streets. It allows people to learn about him because he's not spoken as much as you'd say other people in the club like some that buzz around at the same time you know you could you could say he's, he's had a, you know, an impact on the sides of him. I was born in 1942, which is a hell of a long time ago, in the middle of the Second World War. And the day I was born, Jimmy was on a troop ship in the Mediterranean on his way to North Africa. His career as a footballer, he'd been a footballer from the age of 17, was over because of the Second World War. Now, Matt Busby was in the army, but he wasn't a serving soldier. And Matt Busby came with a team of professional footballers to play a team that my father had got together. People don't realise that after Munich, there's a board meeting, and the board suggests that the club drop out of the championship, or whatever it was, the football league, for the rest of the season, and start again during the summer. And my dad said, no, we'll carry on. Jimmy, it can't be done. It can, and I will. Absolutely stunningly, devoted to football. And at the 50th anniversary of Munich, uh, Bobby Charlton was standing up talking about Dad, and he said, Jimmy treated us like, like his sons. He treated us better than his sons, because we saw more of him. He's, I feel like he's very inspiring, and once you learn the story behind the statue, it's very self-explanatory as well as to, it's there.